Hi, I'm Terry Ladd with Pink Iguana Analog Services. Today we're talking about the lead safety program and specifically the component that we're talking about is air quality monitoring. Air quality monitoring is the act of measuring how much lead is in the air around one of your employees breathing areas, or breathing zones. Um, and what we're trying to do is capture uh, the, that level uh, for the baseline tasks that your employees do and we need to do this for a couple of jobs, a couple of interior jobs each year, a couple of exterior jobs each year. And as long as those levels are within a specific range, then we don't have anything to worry about from an OSHA inspector showing up. Um, so what I'd like to do is show you the different components of the, the apparatus that we use to do air quality monitoring. And then I want to show you how they are put together um, and an employee wears them so that the, uh, the air quality measurements are actually taken. Uh, first, we're going to go through the different components of the air quality monitoring apparatus. Um, it starts with the pump. Um, the pump that I use is a Buck Libra pump. Um, it's little more than a fish tank pump, but it's specifically calibrated for use in measuring air quality in for your employees. It's got some hose attached to it. Um, it's got uh, uh, a power cord attachment so you can power it up. The power is usually good for about 12 to 14 hours. Um, the second piece that we need is something called a rotometer. Um, a rotometer is a measurement that we use to figure out exactly how much air is being drawn through the pump at any given time. I'll show you how to use this in a minute. And lastly, what we have is the filter. This is the filter that is placed at the end of the hose that the air is drawn through um, right by your employee's breathing zone. And on the end, any contaminants are captured on there. At the end of the day or at the end of the, the air quality monitoring session, this is FedEx to a lab. The lab analyzes it and reports to you exactly how much lead was in your employee's breathing zone over that specific period of time. So all of these different components are available through different distributors and, uh, and warehouses. Um, you can also get them through the different testing labs. There's testing labs all over the country, Google, industrial, laboratory, and you will find somebody that does all kinds of testing in your area. Um, I think I pay about $23 to $25 to process one of these. For uh, one particular job, I need to take two or three days samples for two or three different guys. So what's that? Six to nine uh, samples of these filters that need to be processed, $25 a piece. You're looking at between $175 and $225 to, to get the, the, um, the uh, reports back that you need. Um, on, on what the lead levels were in the air around your employees. So I need to do that for an interior project and an exterior project, a couple of projects each year. So it may run you $1,000 um, per year to do the air quality monitoring. But if you do it correctly and the measurements come back where they're supposed to come back, meaning that you have the right engineering controls and work processes in place, the lead safe work practices, then you don't have to worry about OSHA showing up on a job site because the, the lead in the air around your employees is at an acceptable level and when it isn't you have a lead safety program in place which is making sure that they're protected. So those are the different components and now we're going to go through how we take the rotometer measurement on the pump so that we know what the volume of air is that's being pulled through the pump or through the filter. Basically what we need to do is we need to take the pump, we need to hook up, the, the, the rotometer's got a scale on it from uh, zero liters uh, per minute of air up to four liters per minute of air. And what we want to do is we want to connect the hose to the top output so that when we turn this pump on, it's pulling the little stopper up. We want to take the other hose with the filter and place that end on the other end of the rotometer and now we're set. When we turn this pump on it's going to draw air through the filter and move the stopper in the rotometer so that we see what the level is 
the, of how many liters per air of air per minute are being drawn through the filter. So let me turn this on, push the button, and we see that it's moving here. It's bouncing around between 3.5 or 2.5 and 2.6 liters of air per minute. That's the measurement that we want to mark down on our sampling form, which is part, which you should have as part of the lead safety program. So once we have that measurement, we're going to stop the pump, get our uh, employee all geared up with the pump and the filter, and at the end of the day, we're going to repeat this process with the rotometer and find out what the average is at the end of the day. We're going to take this measurement now and the measurement at the end of the day, and we're going to average them. And then we're going to multiply that by the number of minutes that our employee was wearing the filter, and we'll know exactly how many liters of air were sampled, which is important because that's how we figure out, uh, that's how the lab figures out what the rate is for our measurement. What I'm going to show you now is how to take a uh, air quality monitoring pump and filter and apply that to an employee in the field so that a sample can be taken. What we're going to do is we're going to invite my uh, employee Joe to join me here and we're going to have Joe put it on and I'll show you how this works. Joe, why don't you join me? Joe's coming in off the work site. Um, as we had, uh, as the previous previous demonstration uh, pointed out, there's the pump, there's the the the, uh, the hose, the filter, and the clip. So, Joe, why don't you pull the zipper down on this disposable suit? There's, there's a clip on it that uh, goes over the, the belt or a pant loop. Okay, go ahead and press the start button there. Make sure that it's running and it's on, the light's on. Super. Zip that back up. And we're going to clip this right next to Joe's breathing area. This area is called Joe's Breathing Zone. This is where we want to be capturing the, uh, the air from. So now that it's all on, Joe would go back to work and do what he needs to do all day. This thing would, this filter here would be drawing air all day um, through his breathing zone, by his breathing zone, so we get an accurate measurement of how much lead he's actually exposed to. At the end of the day, either myself or the site supervisor would come and um, remove this item, take a, turn off the pump, take the measurement of the, with the rotometer of what the volume of air, the rate of air going through the pump or the filter was, and uh, then we have our measurement. So let's pretend it's end of day. Uh, unzip. How was work today, Joe? Oh, great. It was great. Good. You've got a great boss right here. Oh, the nice surprises. So, yeah, let me take this off. Do me a favor. And, Pull that off there, super, and I'm going to turn that off. Great, so that's off. Stay with me for one second. I go back and I get my trusty rotometer. Remember, at the end of the uh, day, we need to see what the rate was so we can get an average. We did this measurement in the morning when we, before we put it on, Joe, and here it is the end of the day. And we want to measure on the rotometer what the end of day number is. So I've hooked up the pump to the top and the filter on the bottom. I press on, and we see that the marker has moved to... 2.5 to 2.6, right where it was this morning. So our average is going to be 2.55. That's what we were uh, are measuring this morning and uh, this afternoon. So that's 2.55 liters per minute of air being pumped, being pulled through the filter. We're going to write that onto our data collection sheet. Turn this off. Disconnect it all. 
And now what we need to do is we need to send this to the lab. This is the cartridge, this is the filter. I'm going to put a label on it. I'm going to label it with the date, the job site, a unique ID number, and Joe's name so that I know exactly what sample this was. I'm going to take that same information, put it on the chain of custody form, which is part of the program that I supply. All of that goes into a UPS uh, uh, envelope and goes straight next day to the lab. should have your results in 24 to 48 hours. Um, so that's what we, is involved with uh, the air quality monitoring um, and, and installing it on an employee, taking it off afterwards, doing the final measurement to get your uh, flow rate for the day, and packaging it up to send it off to the lab. Next, we're going to be talking about personal protective equipment.